Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to this feminine platform and welcome back to this channel. And of course, if you are new here, ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers, welcome. So the Triggerville emotions around this Kiki Palmer and Dusty Darius baby daddy situationship have finally piped down a bit and both sides have spoken, but I wanted to share some fresh perspective on some things that many people will tend to overlook about these very common hypogamous dynamics. Now for house cleaning purposes, domestic violence is no laughing matter. As every nine seconds in the United States, a woman is assaulted or beaten. And every day in the United States, more than three women are unalived by their husbands or boyfriends. As domestic violence is a very common occurrence, and is a matter of life or death for women and is an issue that should be taken very seriously. So now is not the time for the pick me's and the Dustianas to be an advocate for abuser scrubs or to blame Kiki Palmer for her man's abuse. Now, for those of you who don't know, black Twitter's niece, Ms. Kiki Palmer has abruptly filed for sole custody of her baby boy, Leotis. And she has also filed for a restraining order from her bozo baby daddy, along with detailed claims of verbal, physical, and emotional abuse that have been substantiated by police reports and by Kiki's mom, Sharon Palmer. And according to reports, I'm hearing a gun was involved. And sadly, there are unsightly photos floating around of Dusty Darius manhandling her that are super painful to watch. So yes, I am very angry for Kiki and I am also very saddened by the dustiness of it all. And she probably tried to stay with Darius to save face because society, especially black society, shames and judges single mothers so nastily until she could no longer hide the inner ugly antics that spilled out into the court of public opinion that has turned us all into referees. And while there was a very strong suspicion that this relationship would not stand the test of time due to this very top heavy lopsided hypogamous dynamic, we are only now just finding out that there has also been domestic violence that it possibly runs in Darius's family and to boot that Mr. Darius has an enabling mother. But domestic violence should always be an absolute deal breaker and an absolute no-no. But what I will say is that I am not surprised that this ashy Dusty is a hothead because these two have had some very public issues ever since Kiki danced with Usher in her freakum dress at his Las Vegas residency earlier this summer. And his Twitter finger response is clearly indicative of a man whose wagon is missing three wheels. These two were clearly incompatible from the beginning. And the facts are, you will not find too many examples of a long-term relationship that worked with a man who is successfully playing the background role while his woman is in the spotlight. And even if a man smizes about it, the resentment and the anger from being in her shadow will play itself out in his behavior with either abuse or with serial cheating. And a great example of this acting out dynamic is on season one, bleeding into season two of Netflix, The Crown, between Queen Elizabeth II and her husband, Prince Philip, who acted the fool, when he realized that he married into a dynamic where his wife's stature and her nobility would always overshadow his masculinity. But out of a burning desire for the fulfillment of a family of her own, to have someone to care, or when a successful woman catches a serious case of wanting the legacy of some babies to pass her wealth onto, this hypergamous dating below your station in life tale is a tale that is as old as time and is a tale that is going to keep repeating itself as long as super successful women continue to have babies by unsuccessful men and men who are not content with their stature or the financial position that they find themselves in. And this situationship between Kiki and Dusty Darius is sadly panning out exactly the way that most hypogamous dynamics do. Kiki thought that she found a loving, supportive, domesticated, gentle puppy dog. And she thought that she found a he's crazy about me kind of guy who wouldn't be threatened by her fame or her success. And with successful women, there tends to be a very strong perception 
that domesticated men are easier to control, that they don't mind playing second fiddle, or that they are so grateful and happy and overjoyed to be aligned with a woman's success until she realizes that her dusty can actually turn into a dire wolf with a nasty, uncontrollable temper. And in many cases, after the babies and after the honeymoon phase is over, she will discover that her puppy dog has always had a weak masculine foundation all along. And in the end, she will also lose respect for him, especially when she's footing the bill for everything. And as an aside, ladies, please, for the love of Christ, stop trying to equate abuse with a person's money status or a man's money stature, because that type of thinking is very short-sighted. And because a rich man can and will knock your head between the washer and the dryer. Because abuse is literally a character defect and a character flaw that is rooted in insecurity. But one thing that is for sure is that abuser men at all class levels, including Dusty's, are chameleons. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. And let's not act like abusers do not first come off as their charming representatives in the beginning while slowly boiling the frog. And eventually the mask is dropped. No man writes I'm abusive on the relationship application or on his forehead. They don't abuse on the first date, but they do tend to prey on women who lack strong masculine figures around them so that they can keep their abuse in house. Now to some of these Dusty's credit, a lot of Dusty unaccomplished men initially believe that they can handle being in the shadows and the background of their breadwinner boss girlfriends and wives until they are asked to step aside on the red carpet or when their wives or girlfriends are being interviewed and they are being treated like background furniture. That is when their egos begin to deep fry and disintegrate. And then with the spirit of confusion, they'll either try to turn you into a submissive provider, which is what Mr. No Leverage Darius tried to do, or they'll cheat using your money to ego repair. And if he's really insecure, he'll try to go upside your head to establish both control and dominance to soothe his shattered ego. Now, Kiki Palmer has been a child actress forever. And as a black female entertainer, she is most definitely paying the black tax because she is most certainly her family's breadwinner, which means that if she don't work, others won't eat. So from a feminine point of view, I can see how she attracted such an insecure nobody like Darius into her life. Like most women who have children, her having a son was not only about succumbing to baby fever, but was more than likely her unconscious way of receiving that unconditional love and a family legacy of her own. This is how we are wired biologically as women. But strong women and family breadwinners in general tend to almost always attract leeches, bums, users, and opportunists. And not to mention Kiki calls herself a big boss in her Instagram bio, which automatically lets me know that her feminine education is lacking. And no, I am not blaming her for being abused, but breadwinner girls tend to have the strongest blind spots when it comes to men who aren't providers or protectors because breadwinner girls are groomed to take care of everyone. And that is why so many black women tend to attract and sustain relationships with men who have a weak masculine foundation, no matter the race of man. And sadly, what a rinse, wash, and repeat recipe for disaster. And not to mention, and I want you to write this down, ladies, when you are with an unmotivated man or a man who lacks ambition and drive, or when you try to deal with these fixer upper types, your life becomes hog tied to their lameness. You waste a lot of energy and a lot of bandwidth trying to overcompensate for their lack. And your life ends up becoming super fixated on building up their ambition and structuring their life, which is not only a liability, but it is also super draining on the feminine divine as managing a man's insecurities and managing the chip on their shoulder tends to turn into a full-time job where instead of being a mother of one, you end up becoming a mother of two. So in many ways, these fixer upper types can and will hold you back and you'll end up with a nasty case of buyer's remorse. And Darius is clearly just another spirit of confusion bum who wanted all of the unearned privileges of a traditional relationship dynamic and of being the respected head of household while having zero leverage. Ladies, understanding and educating yourself on masculine nature 
is so key in avoiding these dynamics. And more than likely, this Dusty got comfortable with physically abusing Kiki because she doesn't have any strong males around her that can break both his arms and legs mafia style. And she doesn't have any men around her that can turn this Dusty every which way but loose for getting out of pocket. So good on her for getting that restraining order and for taking her power back. But women who are successful in their careers need to be financially careful because an emotionally unhinged man and his cocaine bear behavior can be very spiteful and will do anything to get the upper hand in order to get revenge and to ego repair. And the conundrum and the dilemma, of course, is that it is not always easy to date or marry at your level when you are a super successful woman, which we have talked about countless times on this platform. And as a final point, I am not here for the I told you so, she didn't want to listen to Steve Harvey stale talking point either. How many of us as women are warned and will do what we want to do anyway? And for those of you who want to feel superior, or for those of you who believe you are smarter than Kiki, pain and lessons cannot always be avoided because that is not how life works, nor is it how we gain wisdom as women. The facts are most women will operate and interact with men from the level of their self-esteem. And only when our self-esteem is raised is when our choices and our decision-making is improved. Most of us are on a learning curve when it comes to men and romantic relationships and experience is usually the best teacher. And this may ruffle some feathers to hear, but you can go argue with your mammy. But if Steve could so easily connect Kiki with a billionaire, then why hasn't he done the same for his daughter, Lori Harvey, who was on her third public breakup? A lot of y'all outside looking in level up chicks can be very loud and delusional about how money, connections, and relationship dynamics work, and it shows with your knee-jerk, magical thinking reactions. Gratefully, Kiki Palmer is safe, but just because Steve offered up a suggestion does not mean that her low self-esteem wasn't already in place. And how do you know if a billionaire would even want Kiki Palmer when it is a hypergamous fact that billionaires are not even interested in boss chicks? And let me remind you that Steve Harvey also matched Cynthia Bailey with a man that she married and not even two years later, they were divorced. So miss me. In Kiki's case, hopefully she is done done with her Dusty and hopefully she can course correct by healing, by giving herself grace and by forgiving herself for what she did not know. And that is how a woman grows into a wise woman instead of a childish, bitter one. And hopefully this bum will not have the opportunity to K fed his way into an 18 year check the way that so many other celebrity women are currently obligated to do. But ladies, let's make America great again by leaving these man-child fixer-upper projects alone. And as always, I hope you learned something from watching this video. And I thank you for listening. And I thank you for watching. And I thank you for subscribing. And please share this video if you care to further grow our feminine community. And please stay tuned for more cautionary tales to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers in the next one. Hell no. Till the no, 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 yeah, till the no, yeah, till the no.